just a little bit quieter. Good morning, everyone. Just waiting on a few people to join us. Good morning, Michaela. So welcome to Pilates Mats. Morning, Auntie Terry. So today's gonna be a little bit more gentle than we've done in the past. Good morning. Um, yeah, a little bit more gentle than we've done in the past. Um, I'm finding that with the increased amount of sitting, my hip flexors are getting very tight and sore. And so I can only assume that everyone's is in the same boat. So we're going to be using um, bath towels today. Now, if you do have a foam roller at home, there's a couple of exercises that you could use your foam roller with, um, but I'd actually really suggest doing this with just a bath towel. And what I've done is I've just rolled it up. Nice and simple, nothing crazy. This isn't the um, thickest bath towel I own, but again, you can kind of play around with your own. Um, yeah, and we're just gonna, we're gonna wait a couple minutes for everyone to join us. We'll probably do around 35, 40 minutes today of mat. And yeah, it should feel good. That's my goal. Morning, Cheryl. Yeah, so we'll just wait a couple of minutes. If you guys have any questions um, while you're waiting, please feel free to shoot me that question. I'll do my best to answer. My sister's just in the background being the DJ. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. So yes, if you're just joining, we're gonna be having a bath mat. We're gonna get started in about two minutes. Make sure you've got a nice comfortable space. Have your mat ready. I always suggest too with Pilates, um, if you have two yoga mats, it's really nice to layer them on top of each other. It's a little bit more supportive for your body. Morning, Janet. We'll just start in another minute or so. Let everyone join and get ready and grab a glass of water. And like I said, any questions, shoot those questions to me now. Otherwise, I'm gonna be over on the mat leading the class. So lots of breath work today as well. So we're really gonna be focusing on that belly breathing. Um, I definitely suggest just checking in with your jaw every so often, making sure that you're not clenching your teeth together as you're breathing, trying to keep those teeth separated in the front of the neck nice and easy. So let's get started. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall. I'm just gonna scooch my hips back a little bit. Here's where you can use your towel if you'd like. You can just scooch that under your bum so that you can sit up nice and tall without those hip flexors getting too grippy. All right, so we're gonna start here. Just kind of sink into your body. Go ahead and place one hand over your belly. I'm gonna go right hand, and then your left hand over your chest. And you can close your eyes if you'd like. I'm gonna ask you to take a nice deep breath in, expanding through your belly. And then exhale. Meg, maybe you can turn the music down just a little bit. Thank you. Deep breath into your hand. And exhale. Good. Go ahead and close your eyes. Deep breath into your belly. Feel that belly rise. And exhale. And just notice if your breath is starting to go into your chest. We want to keep your chest nice and easy. The lighter your chest is, the lighter the neck muscles will be. Two more breaths like this. Inhale into your belly. And exhale. One more deep breath into your belly. And exhale. Good, go ahead and open your eyes. I'm gonna scooch back to the mat. Just to have my knees supported. So here I'm gonna be taking my mat, or sorry, my bath towel, and placing it just between my legs. So I've got it just above my knees. 
kind of halfway. The towel should basically be floating off the ground. So I've got a nice parallel position happening with my legs. So here, same thing, let's take a moment and just take a nice deep breath into your belly. So inhale, feel the belly expand, and then exhale. Feel the belly pulling in towards your spine. I'll go from the side. So inhale, expanding through the belly. And exhale, drawing the belly in. So a couple more rounds of this breath. And as you exhale, I want you to start to feel like you're squeezing that towel in just slightly. It doesn't have to be the tightest squeeze you've ever had. So you're inhaling to expand through your belly. And then exhale, squeezing in on the towel. Inhale, expanding into your belly. And exhale, squeezing into the towel. Let's do two more like that. Inhale into the belly. Feel the spine extending as you breathe in. And exhale, squeezing that towel. One more like that. Inhale into your belly. And exhale. Keep that nice little squeeze happening of the towel. You're gonna be sending your hips backwards towards your heels. And then keep squeezing that towel as you come back up. Maybe you're gonna adjust your towel if it's sliding down like mine. Inhale to bend through the knees, sit your hips back, and then exhale, squeeze the towel to come back up. I'll show you from the side. We're gonna keep going, inhale, bend. Exhale, squeezing the towel. Inhale, bend, and exhale. Let's do four more, for four. Exhale, squeezing the towel to lift. For three, For two, we're still expanding that belly as we inhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Arms are gonna come out to the side. We're staying nice and tall through our hips. We're going to exhale, curve our spine. And then inhale to open your chest. And exhale, curve your upper back, drawing those abs in. And inhale. And exhale. Keep squeezing in on that towel. Inhale. Two more times. Exhale. And inhale. One more. Exhale. And inhale. Bring those arms forward and then squeeze them back behind you, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Try to squeeze to your glutes so that you're getting that back body activated. Keep that squeeze happening on the towel. You're gonna to inhale, let your hips come back. Exhale, press forward. Keep that squeeze happening on the towel. Exhale. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Two more like this. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Hold here. Squeeze that towel nice and strong with your legs. Open your chest. Think about reaching your pinky fingers up now. So I had my palms facing up. Now I want you to rotate your hands so that your pinky fingers coming up to the ceiling. My lower body is engaged, but I'm not gripping through the front of those hip flexors. We're going to be lifting those arms up and then squeeze together. So they're lifting straight up and then squeeze. Lifting up and squeeze. Lift up and squeeze. Keep that activation happening between the thighs where you're squeezing that towel. Inhaling into the belly. Exhaling, drawing the abs in towards your spine. This shouldn't feel too easy, so if it does, lift those arms up a little bit higher, and then really squeeze those shoulders back. Up and back, we've got 10 more. Squeezing that lower body. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Squeeze the towel. Five. 
five, four, three, lifting those arms up a little bit higher for the last two. One more. And then let those arms come out to this side. So right from here, we're gonna combine the squat with your upper body. So your hips are gonna go back, your upper body is gonna curve forward. And then you're squeezing that towel as you open up. Exhale, curve. And inhale, open. Exhale, curve. Inhale, open. Exhale, curve. Inhale, open. Three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Keep squeezing that towel. One more. Inhale, open. And then let those arms float down. Nod your chin to your chest. Keep your hips lifted. Keep squeezing that towel and roll your spine down nice and slowly until your fingertips can come to the floor. Keep that towel between your thighs. Walk your hands out. So here, I'm going to have my hands under my shoulders and my knees under my hips. I still got that squeeze happening in the, between the thighs on the towel. I'm gonna inhale, drop my belly down, keep that little squeeze happening, lift up through the chest, and then exhale, round. Give it a little extra squeeze of that towel as you round your spine. Inhale, extend. And exhale, little extra squeeze as you round. Inhale, extend. And exhale. One more time. Keep that little gentle squeeze and then add an extra squeeze as you round. Come to neutral. Keep that squeeze happening between your thighs. Start to think about squeezing your glutes together as well to stabilize you. Draw those abs in nice and tight. You're going to inhale, lift your one arm forward. Try to keep that squeeze happening. Nice, even weight between the knees. Place it back down. Opposite arm lifts. And place it back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, lift. Keep that squeeze happening. Exhale, place it down. We've got four. Place it down, squeezing that towel. For three. For two. One more. Right from here. Spread your fingertips nice and wide. Feel like you're trying to squeeze the floor with your fingers. So you're almost gonna tent your hands up. So you're really activating through the intrinsic palm oil muscles. You're gonna tuck your toes under, keep that little squeeze happening between the knees. Keep that towel squeeze, hug those abs in and just hover those knees off. Inhale, and then exhale, place them back down. Keep that squeeze happening in the fingers. Inhale, lift. Exhale, place it down. Fingers are squeezing, legs are squeezing. Inhale, lift. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, place it down. Four more. For four. For three. Keep squeezing those fingers for two. One more, hover, hold. Draw those abs in. If you need to reset yourself, you can. Keep that little squeeze happening. For four. For three. For two. For one, gently lower down. Untuck your toes. You can let go of those inner thighs for a moment. Sit your hips back and walk your arms forward. Take a nice deep breath in and out. Expanding through that upper back. Feel the breath coming all the way into your belly. Let your head hang heavy. One more nice deep breath, inhale. Good, from here I want you to press forward back onto your hands and knees. Regain that little squeeze between the thighs of the towel. By the way, you can always check in, make sure you're squeezing hard enough. You shouldn't be able to move that towel. 
Start to bring your hands back towards your knees. Tuck your pelvis under, hands back towards the knees, and you're gonna roll your spine all the way up. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, maintaining that nice tall leg posture, rolling down through your spine as far as you can go without your hips coming back. Inhale at the bottom. And then exhale, rounding, dropping that tailbone, stacking your hips over your knees, rolling all the way up. Inhale. And exhale, same thing, keeping those hips stacked as much as you can. Keep that little squeeze happening between the thighs. Rolling down, gravity's taking over, inhale. Exhale, stacking those thighs, squeezing the towel to roll up. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, just let those arms go down. Roll those shoulders up. Good work, everyone. So we're gonna take that towel now. We're gonna be placing it just under our hips. So if you kind of feel at the back of your body, you go all the way down your back, you find these two little bumps. Those are the tops of your SI joints. I'd like you to place the towel right in that area, straight across. So it's going across this direction. Scoot your hips forward so you've got lots of room. And then go ahead and just lie back. Find yourself into this position. Okay, so depending on how slidey your mat is, you might want to have your feet on the floor. If you've got laminate floor, have your feet on the floor. If not, keep your feet on the mat. Your mat might just kind of pull with you as you do this. So here, just take a moment, feel that nice release through the front of the hip flexor. So maybe just go ahead and touch your hip flexors, give them a little mini massage, and just let them know, it's okay, you do not have to be gripping for me right now. I'm gonna switch back just a little bit so you can see. So from here, I'm still focusing on my belly breathing, so I'm inhaling, expanding into the base of my lungs, and then exhaling, pulling my abs in. So here I'm also having a little bit of a uh, space under my low back. If that doesn't feel so good on your back, just tuck your pelvis under and find a little bit of an imprint. Just a little bit, don't force it down. Just enough that you can feel that low back release. Okay, so from here, you're going to inhale, press your right heel into the floor, extend that leg out, and then exhale, keep pushing that heel into the floor to drag it back in. Let's go to the left side. So you're gonna inhale, press that left heel down, and then exhale, press the left heel down to come back in, and there goes my mat. I'm just gonna pull my mat up. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier. All right, so from here, I'm pressing my heel down, and then exhale, I'm drawing in from my abs and I'm pushing my heel down to drag my leg back up. Inhale, left side, pressing down, and exhale, pressing down, drawing in from my abs to pull my knee back up. So keep this going. You'll notice that the more you push down through that heel, it kind of turns your hip flexor off and you're able to actually access that psoas muscle right at the top of the belly button. So we wanna be thinking about your deep core all the way up at that belly button. So you're pushing down through your heel to drag that heel back towards your bum. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, press down to drive in. Inhale, press it out. Exhale, press down to drive in. We've got four more times for four. If you start to notice that your hip flexors are gripping, just take a moment, settle in, let it go, and then keep going. Rejoin, you don't have to keep up with the repetitions if those hip flexors are going crazy. Inhale, extend. Exhale, deep, deep abs right up at your belly button, pulls that leg in. One more time each side, press the heel down to press out. Keep pressing that heel down and draw those abs in deep to pull in. Once more on the left, inhale, extend out. Keep pressing down through that leg, draw those deep, deep abs in to pull in. Good, from here what you're gonna do is you're going to be opening one knee out to the side and then drawing it back in, opposite side, same thing. Watching that you're not rotating through your hips as you do this. So you wanna keep those 
hip bones shining straight up to the ceiling the whole time. So you're going to inhale, let that right knee open out to the side only as far as you can go. And then exhale, thinking about all that inner thigh work we did to draw it back up. Inhale, left knee opens out, keeping those hip bones up to the ceiling. Breathing into your belly. Exhale, draw the abs in. Feel the inner thigh pulling the knee up. Inhale, right leg opens. Exhale. Inhale, left knee. And exhale. A couple more times each side. So just keep resetting with yourself. Is your hip flexors doing the work? Try to access those deep, deep ab muscles. If you're really finding that they're gripping, go ahead and give your leg a little bit of work, or a little bit of assistance from your hand to try to allow those hip flexors to turn off. Inhale, open. Exhale. Still thinking about that deep belly. Inhale, open. Exhale. One more time each side. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And inhale, open. And exhale. Good, right from your hands can be by your side. Pressing into your heels. Inhale to lift those hips straight up. Squeezing your glutes. Exhale, back down. Inhale, straight up, pressing into your heels. Exhale, straight down. Inhale, straight up. Exhale, straight down. We'll do two more. Inhale, straight up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, down. All right, I'm going to kick my mat back out. Maybe. There we go. So from here, I'm going to keep that towel right where it is. I'm going to bring my left knee in towards my chest and I'm going to allow my low back to roll under. From here, I'm going to slide that right leg out as far as it'll go until you feel a stretch. So if you get it all the way out, that's great. Keep hugging that left knee into your chest and then think about lengthening through that right side. So thinking about pulling from deep in that belly, we're going to draw those abs in and just hover the right leg off the ground. If your leg isn't completely straight, your job is to try to straighten the leg. So inhale, exhale, draw those abs in and hover that leg off the ground, holding for five. Keep drawing those abs in for four, for three, for two, for one, and let it go. Draw that left knee in a little bit more. Reach that right leg long. It's okay if your hips twist a little bit here. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, draw those deep abs in and hover that right leg off the ground, holding for five, for four, for three, for two. You might feel that leg start to shake. And one, and then gently let it go. Good, hug that left knee in a little bit more. Reach through that right leg, give it a little bit extra. And then slowly drag that right heel back along the ground to bring it up to your chest and you're gonna to switch to the other side. Go ahead and lengthen that left leg all the way down. Good. So again, I'm allowing my low back to roll under and I'm really trying to squeeze my right um, knee in towards my chest. I'm lengthening through that left leg as much as I can. So again, if your knee doesn't straighten, that's okay. Your job for this is to just extend your leg to meet the upper thigh where it is. So pulling from deep, deep, deep in that belly, inhale. Exhale, draw those abs in and just hover the leg off the ground. Holding for five, keep hugging that right knee in for four, for three, for two, for one, and let it go. Really reaching through that left leg and drawing that right knee a little bit closer to you. Same thing again, go ahead, inhale. Exhale, draw those abs in deeper and hover that left leg off the floor. 
Hold, hold, hold for five, four, keep reaching the leg long for three, drawing those abs in deeper for two, for one, and gently let it go. Hug that right knee in. Press the left heel to the floor, drag that heel in, and draw both knees into your chest. Go ahead and rock side to side. Good. Now that your knees are into your chest, just go ahead and lift your bum up. Slide that towel out. Place your feet back down on the floor. You're gonna take the towel and just place it back between your knees, back into those inner thighs. So here, I want you to just double check to make sure that your toes aren't flared out to the side. You wanna keep your toes facing straight forward. You're gonna work on keeping that little bit of a squeeze. It doesn't have to be the hardest squeeze you've ever had, but that gentle squeeze that's constant as we go through our glute bridges here. So opening your chest nice and wide, drawing those abs in, inhale, and then exhale, squeeze your bum, lift your hips. Inhale, back down. So something I notice a lot when I'm teaching these mat classes is that people like to flare their feet out as soon as they start doing bridges. So I want you to really focus on keeping those big toe joints down and your toes facing straight ahead. Exhale to lift up, gentle squeeze on that towel. Inhale back down. Exhale, gentle squeeze, big toe joints down. Inhale down. We've got four more. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale down. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale down, gentle on that towel. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale down, last one. You're gonna exhale, squeeze, lift and hold. Arms gonna reach up, inhale. And then exhale, press the arms down. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Keep that squeeze happening with the towel. Inhale. My legs are starting to shake because I'm definitely one of those people that likes to flare everything out. Exhale. Keep checking in with yourself, drawing those abs in. Inhale. Exhale. Four more for four. Squeezing the towel for three. For two. Last one. And then slowly let those hips come back down. Good job. Take the towel out. Let those legs shake out. Shake, 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 shake. From here, go ahead and open that towel up. You can kind of fold it just to make it a little bit longer so it becomes about shoulder width apart. I want you to reach your arms up overhead and add a gentle pull outwards on that towel. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bring the fingertips to the ceiling, nod the chin to the chest. Keep reaching outwards on that towel to roll yourself all the way up and forward. Inhale, lift up. Keep that pulling out sensation on the towel. Slowly roll all the way down. Keep pulling out, 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 out on the towel. Inhale. And exhale, rolling all the way up. Keep pulling out, out, out on the towel. Reaching up and forward. And rolling up. Sliding on my mat. Reach out on that towel. Keep pulling as if you're trying to reach that towel apart, especially here when it starts to get hard in the abs. Pull more out through that towel. More, more, more. Inhale, reach. Two more. Nodding the chin to the chest. Pull long on that towel. Try to rip it apart. And reach. And lift up. Keep pulling wide. Rolling down. Keep pulling wide. Exhale, rolling up. This is your last round of this. Inhale. Exhale, roll back halfway. Hold here, pull that towel out a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, roll back another inch, pull wide on the towel. Inhale, exhale, roll back another inch, pull wide on the towel. Inhale, exhale, roll back an inch, pull wide. Inhale, exhale, pull wide, all the way back down. And then just wiggle those legs out, big stretch. Come all the way up. Good work, everyone. A little bit more. So go back to that uh, original towel fold that we had. So 
just to make it a little bit bulkier. So here I'm actually gonna be lying on my stomach. I'm going back to the roll up. Take a quick sip of water. I'm gonna be going onto my stomach and I'm gonna be placing the towel across my hips. So if you've got a low back issue, this is a really nice way to modify any of the back extension type exercises to allow for things like your arms to actually move properly or your glutes to engage. So something to play around with at home with other exercises or workout routines that you're doing. So go ahead and lower yourself down. You're gonna have that towel right under your hip bones. And it should feel pretty nice actually. It should feel decompressive in that low back. So here, I still wanna be thinking about my breathing. So I'm inhaling my belly in towards the floor. And then I'm exhaling to draw my abs up towards my spine. I have my hands under my forehead. Let's just do two breaths here. So inhale, belly expands to the floor. And then exhale, belly pulls up and away from the floor. One more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Drawing those abs in nice and tight. You're going to start to lengthen those legs out. So the left leg will go first. You're going to reach that left leg long. Keep drawing the abs up. Squeezing through your glutes to lift the leg straight up. And then lower back down. And then right side. Squeezing your bum to lift up. And lower back down. Keep thinking about those abs drawing in. Squeezing your bum to lift the left leg. And lower back down. Drawing those abs in, reaching the right leg. And lower back down. One more time each side, squeezing your bum to lift up. And lower back down. Last time, right leg's gonna lift up and we're gonna hover here. I know you can't see my full leg, but what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna cross the leg over as far as I can, across the left leg, and then I'm gonna open it out to this side. So I'm still lifting that leg, I'm crossing it over, 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 far as I can, really feel that inner thigh, and then open out to the side. Two more times, squeeze it over, 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 really feel that inner thigh working, drawing those abs in, and then reaching out to the side. Last time, squeezing it over, 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 and then open it out to the side. And then back to the middle, lift up a little bit higher by squeezing your bum, Notice that you shouldn't feel any pinching in the low back right now. You should feel all the work into that right glute. And then lengthen it as it lowers back down. Left leg squeeze to lift all the way up. We're going to squeeze it all the way across that right leg. Feel that inner thigh and then open it out to this side. And again, squeeze over. Keep squeezing it over as far as you can to really feel that inner thigh working and then open it out to this side. Three more, squeeze it over, far as you can, keep going, keep going, keep going, and then open it out to the side. And last one, squeeze it over, go, 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 and then open it out to this side, and then back to the middle, and lower it back down, good. So I'm gonna reach my arms forward, staying with my hips, on top of that towel, forehead is down. I'm gonna reach my right leg long and up and my left arm and then lower back down. Drawing those abs in, watching that you're not letting your belly dump into the floor. Opposite arm and leg lift up and then lower back down. So keep hovering that belly off the floor. Right arm or right leg, left arm and lower back down. Inhale, lift. Lengthen, lengthen, squeezing your bum, and lower back down. Low back stays long, belly stays up. Lift up, and lower back down, and lift up, and lower back down. We've got four, and lower down. Draw those abs in for three, and lower down for two, and lower down for one, and lower down. Good, from here, bring those hands under your shoulders. You can tuck your toes under, push yourself all the way back, find that downward, or sorry, child's pose position. 
And just hold here for a moment while you breathe. So I want you to feel that nice length happening in the low back. If this is a little bit pinchy in your knees, go ahead and just slide that towel between your calves and your hamstrings, just to elevate your bum a little bit, but you still wanna be able to feel that nice length happening through the low back. And then reach those arms as far forward as you can. So if you can imagine that nice big broad band of fascia coming across your back, Every time you inhale, that fascia is stretching out a little bit more. And then exhale, letting your chest fall towards the ground. Two more times. Inhale, expanding through the back. And exhale. One more deep breath in. And exhale. And then go ahead and walk those hands back up. Roll your spine all the way up. Good. So from here, I'm just gonna get you to place one leg forward, one leg back. You can have your, let's actually have our towels to the side. So I've got my right leg forward. I've got the towel on the opposite side of my right leg. If this position is not comfortable for you, just go ahead and cross your legs. Maybe we'll go right foot in front of left. Otherwise, we're gonna be in this nice figure four position for our mermaid, so arms are gonna come out to the side. We're gonna take a nice deep breath and reach back towards our back leg, look up to the ceiling. And then exhale, reaching down towards the towel, look up towards the opposite arm. Keep that waist lifted. Inhale, press to that bottom arm to look up. And exhale, reach, lifting the waist. Good, inhale, lift up towards the ceiling. And lift up and over. One more time, big lift up and reach. And lift up and forward. Good, lift up through the body. Take that towel, switching up and over to the other side. So if you've got your legs crossed, now your left leg is gonna be in front, towel is on the left side. So arms are gonna come out to the side again. Big lift up towards that back leg, inhale. And then exhale, big stretch up and over. And again, lifting up and reach back. And lift up and big stretch. Two more, lift up and stretch. And up. And side bend. Last time, up. And big stretch. And big lift. And towards that front side. And then come on up. Good. Taking that towel. Now, if you'd like to have it under your knee for some support, you can. I've got a pretty squishy mat, so I don't need that extra support. I'm gonna set my left leg forward. So I'm in a kneeling position. If the towel's too much for your knees too, you can always bend your mat in half to give that little bit of extra support if you don't have a super thick mat like me. So here, I'm in my, four, my high kneeling position. I'm gonna tuck my pelvis under, squeeze through my glutes. I'm just wiggling my foot forward a little bit for room. And I'm gonna shift forward towards that front side. And then lift back up. And then let that go. And then again, tuck the pelvis under, squeezing through your glutes, shifting forward, and lift up, and let it go. One more time this side, tucking those hips under, shifting forward, lifting up, and let it go. Good, I'm gonna turn to face the other side. We're gonna have the opposite leg forward. So same thing, you wanna have those hips nice and square. We're thinking about our pelvis tucking under before we move. So if you need something beside you for balance too, get closer to a wall if you're feeling a little bit unstable. Otherwise, we're gonna inhale, let those hips go. Exhale, tuck under and then shift forward. And let it go. Inhale, extend the hips. Exhale, tuck under, shifting forward. And let it go. One more time. Unhook those hips, 
scoop under, shifting forward, and let it go. Good work. From here, facing forward, I'm going to get you to place one leg out to the side. Hips are going to stay forward. You can tuck your opposite toe this direction, or you can keep it pointed, whatever is best for you, for your knees. From here, I'm going to get you to sit your hips straight back, and then lift straight up. You should feel a nice stretch happening through those inner thighs. We did a lot of work on those inner thighs today. And coming up. One more time, sit back. And then start to walk your hands forward. If you want to take that towel, place your head on your, on your forehead on the towel. And just hold this position for a moment. Let your chest sink. If this is uncomfortable in the hip crease, just come up a little bit higher and just focus on your bum going back a little bit more. And then go ahead and walk those hands back. Roll your spine up and then switching to the other side. So same thing, toe can be tucked under or pointed. Side foot is flexed. Knees are facing forward. We're gonna hinge back. Reset how you need to and come up. Hinging back and coming up. One more time, go ahead, hinge back. Bring your hands to the floor and start to walk yourself out. Let that forehead come onto the towel. Let those hips reach back. Again, if it's too much compression through the front of that hip, lift your hips up higher, but stick your bum up towards the ceiling. Take a couple of nice deep breaths here. One more nice deep breath into that back. And exhale. And then walk your hands back in, rolling your spine all the way up. And then just go ahead and shake those knees out and have a seat. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, I'm very close to the camera right now. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Something a little bit easier today. Well, I shouldn't say easy, but a little bit more gentle on those hip flexors. Hopefully you remember some of this stuff when you're doing your other exercises as well, um, especially if you're getting some of that chronic kind of pinchy pain in the back. Having a bath towel around is really, really handy for you. Um, and that hip flexor release, you don't have to have a, a foam roller to do. You can always do on top of the towel. Awesome. Well, this video is going to be up for 24 hours on the Evolution Instagram page. And then I believe um, we've got a YouTube channel for after that. So I'd love to know what you guys think of the class. I'll put my Instagram on here so that you guys can give me feedback. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything you wanna ask me, you can definitely do that. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys again next Friday. Have a wonderful day and have a wonderful weekend.